The most recent data from the CDC shows nearly 400 people died from a drug overdose in 2021. 383 of those deaths were unintentional. On today's International Overdose Awareness Day, Local 5's Mary Sugden spoke with the state's attorney general on what trends she's seeing. Iowa Attorney General Brenna Byrd says opioid overdoses are climbing in the state, a trend she says is concerning, especially when you look at the way it's impacting the state's young people. As a mom, it really worries me when I see what's going on with opioids targeting young people in the way that they're marketed through social media and the fact that they can look like candy. Attorney General Byrd says where young people are finding illicit drugs has changed in recent years. The drug dealers have turned to social media to market and to sell illegal drugs. So that includes all kinds of social media applications that kids would use. Two milligrams of fentanyl, shown here on the tip of a pencil, is all it takes to kill someone. And just one pill can kill someone, even the first time they've used the drug. Bird says fentanyl overdoses are the leading cause of death for Americans 18 to 45. Some Democratic legislators in Iowa have called for the decriminalizing of fentanyl test strips, small strips of paper that can detect fentanyl in substances. But it's not an idea Bird is getting behind. There is no safe way to use an illegal drug, and I think uh, that is the message that I want to drive home with people. Uh, there is no safe way to use an illegal drug. A reminder, if you have an old prescription sitting around in your home, it should be disposed of in a drug take-back box before it falls into the wrong hands. Studies show uh, that when there are opiate prescriptions at a household, it raises the risk of those residing household members uh, becoming addicted to opioids, and we do not want that to happen. And Bird urges the public, if you're afraid a family member or a friend are using opioids, she says don't hesitate to reach out and hopefully find them some help. In Des Moines, Mary Sugden, Local 5 News, back to you. For help here in Iowa, you can call the Your Life Iowa number, which is on the bottom of your screen right now. It is free, it's confidential, and it runs 24-7.